Hi, um, I'm Timon. Um, I do hardware hacking, software. Um, I'm into manufacturing and like everything tech um, all over the place. Um, and I've been doing a open source hardware tablet for the past, I don't know, six, seven, eight months. Yeah. Since February, like when you announced the Hackaday Prize, I was just like, I, like every year, I just think about what can I do because it's always like a great opportunity to work on some things to, for like longer and like keep at it because it's like a, someone pushes you. You did not and pick an easy project. I did not pick an easy project and it's by far not finished. I pushed it as much as I could for the prize, but I mean, of course, I started like in March or so. Yeah and been at it since then and uh, I've got it to a stage where like I know what I want to do and what I need to do yep. so it's mostly like bug fixing right now and like getting getting things to work um, met a lot of people that can help me here which is great so it's an open source uh, hardware Linux tablet and the idea is that it's also a modular tablet so my idea was that like in the desktop world and to some degree also in the laptop world you you have this modularity to it. Look, if you have a motherboard and any PC case, you know that any PCI Express card will just fit in there because that gets a defined standard. And I w want to apply that concept to the mobile world. So find ways how we can bring modularity back there. Um, and of course, you have to do some things differently because you don't just can't just buy a graphics card for like an ARM CPU. But you can change your peripherals and like say you want, you have micro USB, but in the future you want USB-C and you just change out that little peripheral um, without changing out the whole motherboard, like this monolithic thing. So I try to abstract the peripherals away from the system on a chip and enable people to use the peripherals for other hardware too. So you can add your own like weird thing that you want to have in a tablet that no one else wants. So I try to make it easy mechanically and electrically that you, you can add your one, the one piece that you need uh, without like redesigning the whole tablet. Um, let's say SDR or uh, you have some sensors that you want integrated into a tablet or I don't know, what, whatever floats your boat. Can I get a logic analyzer wedged in there? Sorry. Yeah, I mean, getting you logic analyzer. SIGPROC plus a logic analyzer. Exactly, like if, if you're in an electronics lab, you can just you, you can just develop a small logic analyzer and just hook it up over USB internally, you know? Um, there's so much stuff you can do if you're, and you can't really do that any, with anything at the moment, I would say. Like, I can break out PCI Express for you and you can do like some really integrated PCI Express peripherals. Um, like add an FPGDA like in the Novena laptop, you know? Um, there's, there's really a lot of stuff that is theoretically possible and that's what excites me, like seeing what people will be able to make with that and what they, they, can, why they, what they see in this product, you know? Yeah, I have some constraints in the form factor that you, you have to, so the idea is there are some, there's a block format, so you have to, whatever you do, it has to be a multiple of a certain width, and it has to constrain to a certain height. Within this constraint, uh, you're open to do whatever you want, but when you keep into this constraint, you don't have to redo any of the mechanical parts, so all you have to do is make a sort of faceplate, that covers up your hardware, or don't, that's up to you. Looks weird, but you know, it doesn't matter. Um, but yeah, I try to, yeah, similar to PC Express last where you have like one width, two widths, and uh, yeah, different lengths. Something weird happened, I, I, won, I won the Packaday Prize for best design, yeah, exactly. which was really cool. I, didn't, I did not know until you announced it. Of course. And then I got pulled on stage and had to say some stuff. Um, <laughs> Which, uh, like, my heart was racing, yeah. <laughs> but it was incredible. I, some really cool people want some really cool stuff there. Um, yeah, well, I hope it pushes the design forward. Yes, I think that will definitely help me. It's uh, ten thousand dollars that I won, and I think that will get me very, very far. And if I need more than that, I, I will probably get that going somehow. I've so, so many people approached me about it and said like. I want this for this and that, and this is really cool. And I, I mean, so far, like, I got a lot of feedback through the price, which is already nice. But here, it's like really people 
approach you and it's like getting so much feedback about what what people see in there and that is, yeah. that is really valuable. Um, How long has it been up on IO? Uh, yeah, since, since March I think or May maybe. I, I took a while to from like when I started developing and then putting up the site because I mean I needed something to show, not just some text. So that people people from the community contacted me over the chat, yeah. so I offered help. Like so someone from Texas Instrument, like X X Texas Instrument, came along and said, yeah, 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 I know some stuff. If you ever need help, you know, I, I'm there. That's awesome. Which is really cool. Um, and I mean, in the comments, there are a lot of suggestions of like what people think is cool. Yeah. Um, not that much comments on the project logs, but uh, that's okay. It's mostly for like documenting and then just reading through it, learning from what I do. You know, I'm, I'm learning with this project too, and like I try to document how I learn my stuff and where, I, like, when I find out new things about like high-speed routing and stuff like that, I try to like condense that information and make it available to others that just want to just want to do stuff, you know, and. Um, Maybe not that much that heavy, hard, heavy math around it and just like how do we approach things, what rules to look out for. Follow me on Twitter, um, uh, Timansky on Twitter, <laughs> that's my links, and Professor Fartsparkle on um, Hacker.io. I put my like daily struggles on Twitter and then I condense that into like a project log for Hacker.io. Cool. Um, follow me there, um, if you want to help out, contact me on both of these channels. Uh, I'm always happy to hear about your ideas, what you want to do with it, or if you have want to help with development, um, let me know.